Hello Internet, Hewlett here. Sweaty as ever, Saturday morning, burn and learn. Ah, so glad I had time to slip this in, although I'm not sure I do because I've just discovered that the subway's closed, so getting to my train station to get to London, Ontario is gonna be slightly more difficult than I planned. But, uh, you know, I got dolphins, so um, that'll get me there. That'll get me there in a good mood. Um, so this is a burn and learn. For those of you who don't know, it's my bid to remain alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. Exercise is boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. Then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. Thus this disaster of a Saturday morning for you. Um, and uh, yeah, a little shorter one today. I did 36 minutes just so I was even. I tend to go backwards and then forwards on the torture device. So um, I've done that. Uh, the idea, as I said, was to get out of here in time to catch a train to go to London, Ontario, to go and talk to my some of my favorite people on the planet. That is the uh, the volunteers at uh, Let's Talk Science. Um, they're having like a dinner thing tonight, so I'm gonna give a little silly speech um, and uh, share some, break some bread with them, hang out, and uh, and then I will uh, I will train back tomorrow by the sound of it. So in time to watch the Raptors win again, I'm hoping. Uh, my son is very very excited about that. Seems to quite like the whole family curling up together watching game basketball. And I got to admit, I sort of see the appeal now. So uh, today's reading, again, uh, cell uh, molecular biology for dummies. Uh, today we're talking about the whole process of um, transferring or converting food into energy, uh, which I do, I must admit, I, there's an, my ulterior motives on this section is I start going like, well, what could I do to help myself? Because I'm well, definitely far over my my uh, my suitable weight, let's just say. Um, I say suitable because I basically tried on all of my suits and I don't fit any of them. So there's only one suit that I can I could fit, and that's my that's that's one of my old Stargate suits, uh, not uniforms, but one of the old um, the suits from there. So I guess I've uh, I've regained my uh, my Stargate girth. Um, so. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I've really got to figure that out. And of course, naturally, I'm trying to find uh, shortcuts for that other than just being sensible, eating properly. Oh, I've outlasted the torture device again, uh, which reminds me, I should run because I got to go catch a train. But um, uh, I shall, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to the tomorrow off. So I'll probably see you on Monday. But uh, either way, if I suddenly feel myself uh, motivated to leap on the, uh, on the device, I shall. Oh, I should say, God, I should say a huge thank you to Lowest of the Low last night, Ron Hawkins, Lawrence Nichols. Um, two of my very old friends who play in this fantastic band called Lost of the Low. They got a new album called Agit Pop, which you have to check out. It is, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, like, it's just, there's, uh, there's one song in particular, there's A Thousand Lights, that I just absolutely adore, which they didn't play last night, jerks! Uh, but anyways, we're at the Danforth Music Hall, just a great venue, packed place. They didn't have to sing because the audience was singing all the lyrics for them. Just like a magnificent evening. Uh, Jane and I uh, went and um, and Sebastian got to hang around and uh, and watch uh, anime at home. So he was quite happy as well. So um, there you have it, little update. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes at Let's Talk Science. Might even see if I can film a couple little things there just so uh, you can see what I've been up to and hopefully it won't be quite as sweaty. I better not be. I gotta go shower and get out of here. Okay, cheerio till we geek again. Sweat it out. Bye!